Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it has been so long since we did an official video. Today, we are gonna be doing part one of a part two series of our new Nashville house home tour. And we're gonna start with the downstairs for this video. This house is unlike any other house we have ever lived in because it is brand new, basically. I think it's like a couple years old, technically. There's so many positives to a brand new house versus a 100-year-old house. But then there's also the negatives, which is you don't have as much character. You've got a lot of drywall and not all the ornate detail that our house in Tulsa had. But when you have young kids, honestly, the new house has been really nice. The windows work, the air conditioning, and the heater work, and the floors don't have splinters, which is nice when you have crawling and barefoot children. You know, you ready to see the downstairs of our new Nashville house? Okay, let's get started. Okay guys, let's start the first floor house tour of our Nashville house, come on in. Okay, so when you first walk in, I wanted to have some sort of a table that was really small, not too protruding, because the hallway really isn't that deep. I'm leaning in to more dark wood pieces, but I am mixing the dark with the light. I feel like when styles change and you're like transcending from light wood to dark wood, like I remember espresso wood was so in 10 years ago and then the light wood came on the scene and sometimes you're like no one's gonna just buy all new furniture so you kind of have to mix and match but do it in a way that is cohesive and strategic so dark wood shelf right here light accessories you will notice some of the decor tips that i always give you guys about accessorizing decorating the backs like the backstage of your decor trying to decorate in threes you know in odd numbers using books to lift items. And it just allows for texture and kind of more of a dynamic look. And then sometimes on certain shelves, you just want one thing. Cause it's not good to have too much everywhere, you know? Okay, so that's the entryway. But let's walk in to the living room. Welcome to the living room. Guys, I have an open floor plan concept, open concept floor plan. Never had one of these before. Always lived in small, either tiny spaces or a giant house that's super compartmentalized because it's a historic home built 100 years ago. In today's world, they don't use a lot of walls in homes. <laughs> As a young mom with young children, I love having visibility to my kids in the living room while I'm cooking or while I'm in the kitchen. Did not have that in our last house. That's a huge plus. Downside is little kids with sticky fingers in the dining room running into the living room. <sighs> Wash your hands, wash your hands. I feel like a robot, I'm like on repeat. Wash your hands, wash your hands. At our Tulsa house, I felt like I could just contain them more because I had walls. Does anyone else feel me? If you're a mom and you have walls or you don't have walls, let me know. Pro walls or anti walls? I feel like in 50 years or 100 years, people are gonna walk through these open floor plan homes and be like, where are all of the walls? What happened? Anyway, I love this living room because when you walk in, the first thing you see is our frame TV. I have a new frame on the frame TV. Tried a new one. Remember the last house? I had a gold frame. Now we're going with a dark wood frame and I really love it. I will link the one that I have. It's amazing. I think I found the best sofa in the entire world. Holy moly. It is like you're sitting on a cloud. That's what it feels like. It is so comfy. It is so chunky, but also like modern. It's just amazing. I absolutely love this sofa. This sofa is from Article. It's very modern, but it's also very cottagey, which is kind of the vibe I'm going for. And it's also not white, but it's also not dark. You know what I mean? It's like the perfect color. Hi. Come over here. Come see me. Hi. Oh. Did you wash your hands? Are you going to do the rest of the house tour with me? Yeah? Let's do it. Then let's also look at the rug. This rug is new, it's also from Article. It's a Czech rug, but it is the softest rug, okay? It is just so cozy. I love the pattern to it because it's not, again, it's like a creamy color, which is great when you have dogs and great when you have kids because it's not something that is gonna get dirty easily and it's off-white, so if it does get dirty, it looks like it's on purpose, you know? Whenever I decorate, especially my house, I decorate with kids in mind. So what does that mean? Coffee table has rounded 
edges. So nobody gets a corner to the eye or anywhere else on the face. Also, containers that hopefully aren't gonna break. But my kids love playing with it because they put God knows what in here. The other thing I love about this little living room is the storage containers that I have to hide all of my kids' toys. As you can hear, Brody found them. Then, right here, I love these chairs. I used to have these chairs in our Tulsa house in that boucle fabric, which is like that white kind of knotted fabric. They have them in leather. These are some of Tyler and my favorite chairs because they swivel. So when you're in an open floor plan, you got people hanging out in here, you got people hanging out over there. It's really nice to be able to turn this around and be able to talk with people and not be stuck in one direction. A lot of the pillows are from either Home Goods or I was actually very pleased to see that Kirkland's had some amazing pillows. This is Kirkland, that leather one is Kirkland. I'm kind of obsessed with Kirkland right now. They really came through when it came to my decor and my pillows specifically and some of the art. Speaking of art, you may notice the art behind y'all is from the Tulsa house. This was in my dining room. This is what I love about investing in art. If you're renting, art comes with you. Also, can we just have a chit chat about renters? I think a lot of you that are renting are terrified to put anything on the wall because you're putting a hole in the wall. Now let me tell you something. I'm not even afraid if the people that own this house see this video or the management company. I signed a contract that said I would absolutely not put a single hole in these walls whatsoever. Like it was so such a serious verbiage contract about putting holes in walls. And I'm like, huh? Here's why they say that. Because most people damage the walls, they don't repair them when they move out, and then they end up with like Swiss cheese walls everywhere. Nobody wants that. I, as a designer, know, and really anybody, this is not something that I just know, go on YouTube and learn how to patch a wall. It is so simple. Before I moved in, the very first thing I asked is, hey, what is the wall color of, these, of this house? And they were like, we don't know, but there's extra paint outside in the garage. So when we move out, I can patch these walls. Nobody will know. So I just encourage you guys, Put stuff up on the walls, but be willing to clean it up when you move out. I don't care if you're only there for a year. That is an entire year of your life that you are living in a house and not fully enjoying it because you're worried about what's gonna happen when you move out. It will Now the floor's on the other hand. Wait to drop, Brody, a puzzle? So enough of my TED talk. Let me take you into the dining room and then into the kitchen, which you might be able to see because we don't have any walls. Did I mention that? Okay, come on in. Welcome to the dining room. I should do a video, and let me know if you guys wanna see this, about like how to find a good rental, tips on picking a rental, because there are really good things you can be looking for. One of the things is window treatments. Not every rental has them, but we lucked out. That's why I wanted this house so badly. I love window treatments. What I don't love is buying window treatments for a rental. Now, if you do have to buy window treatments for a rental, just get them at Ikea or get them at Target. You'll still get that same great look. I used to do that all the time. These I think are Ikea, believe it or not. Let's actually see, I've never looked to see if there was a tag. Let's see if I know my curtains. Oh, they're good and they took the tag off. If you do buy Ikea and you're wondering, what curtain does she recommend, does she recommend from Ikea? I'm gonna tell you. The Vivan and the Rivta. Now I think one of them, I think the Vivan they discontinued, or the Rivta, one of those they discontinued. So look both of those up, but they are a good textured linen option. But I love the window treatments, it truly sets the tone, makes it feel very like ethereal in here, and like whimsical, and the light comes in super filtered, and I love it, because there's a two, there's like a sheer one back here, and then there's a thicker linen one right here, and I just think it looks great. My sideboard, this is from the Tulsa house, and this, we actually had at our Kensington house, if you guys remember that. But we left our Tulsa house mostly furnished because we were renting it to our friends. So I brought our dining chairs and our old table. And then I found this new rug, which good for me, not good for you guys. I found at Kirkland's, thanks Brody. I found this at Kirkland's. It is discontinued online, so I can't link it for you. And it was a floor model, so I got it for like 150 bucks and then 10% off of that which is a steal of a deal for a really nice eight by 10 rug. Isn't that great? So there's a tip, go into your local decor shop and see if they'll sell you the floor model for a great price. And it does have a giant stain of glue right here, but if you ever come over, don't look at it. I didn't even notice it when I bought it until after, but I'm hiding it on this side of the table, so hopefully no one else notices it. Noah, did you notice it when you came over? Nope. There you go, Noah didn't even see it. Uh 
look how big this kitchen is. This is the other reason I loved this house because the island is huge. And if you have young kids, a big island is necessary because my kids are always on this island, cooking with me, playing with toys. It's kind of a good way to corral them. And it's such a big island, they can't really fall off. I mean, knock on wood. And the cabinet space is almost overwhelming how many cabinets I have. And I have never said that, and I'm sure you have never said that because most kitchens do not have a giant U-shape upper and lower cabinets everywhere. I think I've really done myself a disservice because I don't think I'll ever have this nice of a kitchen ever again. But for now, I'm enjoying it because it's so nice. These were already here. I don't love like the stark black. However, I don't mind them. I kind of like that they're modern with a little bit of texture. I don't love these window treatments. Um, they're a little bit too like tribal and boho for me, but I love that there's window treatments on them and they go with light fixtures. So like you kind of just have to be flexible. I could take them down and put new ones up, but again, like window treatments like that, like Roman shades or certain types of shades, then every window is a different width. That's kind of wasted money investing in that type of window covering for your rental. And so that's something that I just am fine living with and gonna just let that go, you know? I will say, if you guys are looking for cute kid ladders, these are my favorite. I will link where I get these below. They have a nice little leather strap back here to keep them in, and then there's different like heights you can raise and lower them. You gonna come step in your ladder? Yeah, okay. Show us how you do it. Can you come up? Put your head under. He just learned how to do this. Whoa! <laughs> Yay, Brody! You did it! The other thing I love is my pantry. Nothing makes you feel better than an organized pantry. Am I right? Like just something about it. It was chaotic for the first three weeks we lived here. And then I just buckled down and did it. And I'm very happy about that. On Instagram, I show you guys how I do stuff like this, making reels and stuff. I haven't posted that reel yet, but I have it. So if you wanna see that type of content, make sure you go over to Instagram and follow me there. Um, I love these bar stools. I'll link where I got these. So the same style as the dining chairs but in bar stool or a counter stool form, that's the kitchen. I think I showed you everything I wanted to point out. Right here, I have this tiny little table. This was originally gonna go in the entry, but I thought it looked better here. I have a really beautiful piece that's coming in from Article in a couple of months, so that I'm excited about. But for now, I think this little duo looks great. A little catch-all bowl if I need. And then this is awesome because I just have like random drawers for keys and sunglasses and I have like all the diaper stuff in case I have to change a diaper while I'm down here. It's kind of like a good little catch-all thing. We have the garage through here. The laundry room is right there. I have a little tiny powder bath right here under the stairs. And then our bedroom is right this way. You wanna show them our bedroom? Welcome to the bedroom. Brody loves to put his fingers on the mirror. Are you gonna show him how you do it? Oh no, we had some restraint, good job. Scout doesn't know how to have restraint though. How cute is this bedroom? I think this space turned out so great. It is way more masculine than any bedroom I've ever designed for us. And I did that on purpose because I just thought it was Tyler's turn to have like, you know, a non-feminine bedroom. Now a couple of things you guys will notice that's old from the old house, the mirror. Of course, I brought my anthro mirror with me. That was really the only place I could put it. I couldn't really put it in the entryway. There was no wall in the living room to put it. And I actually think it looks so good when you first walk into the space to see that mirror here. Then you'll also notice over here, the artwork from our living room in the Tulsa house. This wall is huge. So this actually was the perfect place for this art. First of all, it makes it a little bit more feminine because it has some like pinky peaches and some purples in it, but it also just like fills the wall without having to put a bunch of things there. This is from Minted. I wouldn't say it's cheap, but it's not expensive for the size of it. Okay, so some of the new things in here from Article, these two dressers, I have two of them. Because this wall is so big, I didn't want to put one and have it feel kind of like dinky. So we did two on either side. This one is Tyler's, that one is mine. This is one of my favorite dressers from them. The doors or the drawers open and close like butter. Love the color, love the wood grain. Just really, really well made, high quality item. So the four poster bed, we used to have one in Tulsa, it was light colored wood. I love the slim uh, posts on this one. It's a lot more modern. This does come in an oak color. So if you are looking for a light colored wood bed, 
Highly recommend this for poster bed. It also comes without the posts. So if you like this little modern headboard, you can get it without the footbed being up or even without these, like it'll stop right here. Some very exciting news for everybody. Article is selling linens, bed linens now. Let's just talk about this for a second. Oh, Brody, you wanna come up here with me? Good job. So Article has bedding now. I'm so excited about it. Brody is too. I love a good linen duvet. It's supposed to look wrinkly and worn. I love the casual vibe of linen. They also have a really beautiful linen sheet that I have tried. They also make a cotton sheet. The cotton sheets that they have are amazing and they make them in a taupe color, which is what I have. So if you're in the market for really beautiful, cozy, comfy, cooling sheets, I would try their cotton sheet. I will link the ones that we have below. Both options I think look really great in here and go really good with my art, which I love that art piece. I feel like it was made for this bed, to be honest. It's like the perfect size in between that little opening. Brody, you like it? <laughs> He's the hunk of muffin, isn't he? I think a king bed looks really, really good with large side tables. Now these are not side tables. These are actually dressers. I love, love, love these chunky handles. It's just so cute. While we're down here, let's talk about the rug. It's so cozy. I think this is the most ideal rug for a bed, for a bedroom. And here's why. It is so soft. It's also not super white. And it has this little arch detail, almost looks like little rainbows everywhere. So it's kind of fun and spunky, but I love it. It's so comfy when you get out of bed, you just want to put your feet on something. It's really thick, so it's a good padded. And I just absolutely love it. And the last thing is these lamps. Big chunky lamps are hard to come by for an affordable price. Yeah, but I found the best ones and I will link them for you. I don't remember where I got them, but I think they were like a hundred bucks, which is unheard of if you want that big of a lamp. They're usually like 350. All of my lamps broke on the move. The movers dropped the box. There was two boxes that had all of the lamps and somehow it fell and shattered all of them. Then I have this little chair here to put my shoes on and to talk to Brody. Mama? Yeah. Mama? One, two, three. And I think a bench or chairs are a really great addition if you have room in a master bedroom because it just looks really nice and it's very convenient to have a place to sit in a bedroom. Brody, let's show them the bathroom. This is such a big bathroom. Shower. Shower. You want to go in there? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Go inside. Be careful. Um, because this bathroom is so big, I opted for a giant rug in here. It's actually not giant, it's five by seven, but I think it fills the space really well. And if you have a wide enough bathroom, looking for an actual rug versus a bath mat, I think is better because bath mats, it's really hard to find the right size. If it's too dinky, it just looks silly. Nice little sinks. These uh, were already here and it was just kind of too crazy to like try to switch it. So it is what it is, but I love the shower. We can give Scout a shower in there. We can give the kids showers in there. It's just large and it's great for everybody. We have this very large bathtub. Not the most storage in here, but you know, that's okay. We just kind of make it work. For a rental shower, this is pretty great. This is the nicest bathroom we've ever had. So also a lot of you were like, this is so sad. You're renovating your bathroom in Tulsa right before you move. Aren't you so sad about that? I would have been sad if I didn't know at the time. I knew when I did my bathroom that we were moving into this bathroom which was equally as nice. So yeah, I'm not that sad because we still get a very nice bathroom, which is great. Brody, you're making me nervous. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought of the downstairs of this house. And if you wanna see the upstairs, that's gonna be part two. I'm gonna do kind of a mixture of my old style stuff when I have time, meaning decor videos, tour videos, tip videos if I have the time and capacity for it, but I'm also gonna be doing a lot of vlogs on this channel. Okay, and also, just a reminder, anything that I have in this house that is linkable, I will be sure to link below, and if it's old, I'll try to find something similar. Shout out about decor. As an influencer, there's all this pressure to like constantly be buying new decor, new pillows, new this, new that, because it's all linkable, and then old decor sells out and you can never link it. 
I can't, my husband's gonna kill me if I buy any more vases, okay? So my vases are old. They're from like three or four years ago. I brought them with me so I didn't have to buy new ones. I did buy all brand new pillows though, so that's exciting. But I will link current decor that fits the style as what I have today in this house. So you can get something similar if you like something you see and you're like, oh, where do I get that? I'll try to find similar stuff for you guys down in the description. And I'm just happy you guys are here. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and watch part two if you haven't already. Coming out soon. Okay, love you. See you next time. Bye. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Can you say no? <laughs> Can you say, I'm so silly? I'm so silly. Are you so silly? Yeah.